Hi, Dave Heidloff, athletic trainer for Athletico here. We're gonna go over some basic exercises that you can do right after a knee injury, specifically an ACL or an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Ashley here has been kind enough to volunteer to be our model. Uh, Ashley actually just recently uh, tore her anterior cruciate ligament uh, a couple of weeks ago and has uh, surgery scheduled soon. So we have a big mission ahead of us. We have two weeks to get her back to full range of motion and to maintain as much strength as possible so that when she heads into surgery, she's set up for success afterwards. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go over a few of those exercises that are fairly commonly prescribed after someone has a, a knee injury. First thing we wanna do is work on both range of motion and strength. So what we've done with Ashley is we start her off with something called short arc quads which is where she's just extending her knee as much as possible. Goal is for her toes to get up to the same level eventually. What we're doing here is we're keeping the quads activated in the front of the leg, at the same time working on some active extension. Staying on her back, we'll do some straight leg raises. So we're gonna bend the unaffected side, we're gonna straighten out this leg as much as possible, and then lift it straight up off the table. We do that for about 30 reps or until she's fatigued, and then we turn the toes out about 45 degrees and go through another 30 reps. What that does is it helps isolate some of the muscles on the inside of the thigh that commonly get weak after an injury. We're gonna work on some of the muscles on the side of the hip. So we're gonna straighten the leg out. We're gonna actually, while her body's in a straight line, we're gonna extend her leg back just a couple of inches. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna raise and lower her leg slowly, keeping her toes pointed forward, focusing on squeezing the muscles on the side of the hip. A lot of research is showing that these muscles weaken up quite a bit after an ACL surgery, and they're very, very important when it comes to ACL injury prevention in the future. Going along with those muscles, we'll do another exercise called clams. We're gonna bend the knees about 90 degrees, keep the ankles together, and then one knee is gonna rotate up towards the sky. Again, at the top here, we should be feeling a squeeze on the side of the hips. Next two exercises, we're gonna work on some muscles in the back of the hip and the low back. So we're gonna keep the leg, again, as straight as possible and then lift the leg straight up off the table, keeping the, the stomach and the hips in contact with the table so we're not getting any rotation in the low back. After about 30 reps, we're gonna bend the knee and then really isolate some of those glute muscles. She's gonna try to put her foot straight up towards the sky. So go ahead and push straight up, good. Again, really concentrating on squeezing the muscles in the back of the hips. Next, a little bit more glute activation here and a little bit of posterior yeah. core work. Yeah, go ahead and put both up there. And one thing I like to do when we have the leg elevated in this position is I like to actually put a little bit of compression around the knee to help push some of the swelling out of the knee joint. This can be done with anything like an, an A strap, an elastic bandage, anything that provides just a little bit of compression. Okay, then from this position, what Ashley's gonna do is she's just gonna raise her hips straight up off the table. And here we're getting a nice tight squeeze again in those glutes, the muscles in the hips, but we're also activating the hamstrings here. Once she gets a little bit more advanced, when she comes to the top here, we might actually have her roll the ball in a little bit. And again, work on activating those hamstrings and then coming back down. Again, we're going for about 30 reps at a time on those. I mentioned earlier one of the most important things that we need to do is get range of motion back as quickly as possible. Luckily the knee is fa a fairly simple joint in that it only really has two major motions. Flexion, which is the knee bending, and extension, which is the knee straightening. So to work on knee flexion, we're going to do something called heel slides, where Ashley is just slowly pulling the knee up into a bent position. On the way up, she's activating her hamstrings. She's working on utilizing those to help get some bend in her knee. 
And the goal is eventually to have her knees bend to the same amount. The reason we're using Ashley is that since she did have a recent ACL surgery, what we're seeing here is fairly typical where things can get kind of stiff on the way up. First exercise is extremely simple. We're just gonna elevate the heel on, uh, we're using a foam roller here. You can use the side of a chair at home. Uh, the, the arm of a couch works really well. All you're gonna do is try to relax as much as possible to let the knee fall into as much, much extension as possible. For this, we recommend holding this position for about 10 minutes. Final exercise, Ashley's gonna flip over onto her stomach. With her knee hanging off the edge, we're just gonna let gravity pull her knee down into extension. Again, for this, we're gonna hold this for about 10 minutes. So that's it, the whole routine should take about 30 minutes. Again, all of those exercises, we're doing about 30 repetitions or until you're fatigued. The other two uh, exercises that you're holding, you're holding those for roughly 10 minutes. If you have any interest in any of the equipment that we used in today's demonstration, feel free to check out the link below. As always, check out athletico.com blog for new articles about injuries and injury prevention. And if you ever have any worries about any aches or pains that you're feeling, feel free to stop by Athletico for a complimentary injury screen. Thank you.